ओके आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस सेस बिजनेस एनालिस्ट न्यू सर्टिफिकेशन दैट दे हैव स्टार्टेड व्हिच इज गिवन ऑन द स्टैटिस्टिकल बिजनेस एनालिस्ट सर्टिफिकेशन नाउ इफ यू लुक क्लोजली एट दिस सर्टिफिकेशन दिस इज द सेकंड सर्टिफिकेशन दैट बिकम्स फेमस एक्सेप्ट द बेस सर्टिफिकेशन एंड दिस सर्टिफिकेशन टॉक्स अबाउट एनालिसिस ऑफ वेरिएंस लीनियर एंड लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन preparing input for predictive model and measuring uh, model performance so we are looking at four thing here a uh, four things here uh, the the linear and the logistic regression are intuitively same as uh, somebody would have studied in the cf frm or uh, those easier courses uh, uh, the preparing input and predi- uh, inputs for predictive model is something new and model performance is also uh, something interesting so before we delve uh, more into uh, what they have given here uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, these four topics so anova table is the table where we have p values uh, we use multiple regression the table talks about r square and things like that uh, the logistic regression is used uh, for outcomes of uh, true or false or yes or no like probability of uh, default so the data that you have uh, uh, is uh, having a Y as a default or no default, so you would uh, use that uh, uh, in 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 that part. Uh, the preparing input for predictive model is cleaning up the data and understanding how cleaning of data. And suppose you are not having a uh, one entry uh, in your analysis, and how would uh, you uh, uh, tone things down there? So uh, those kind of uh, things become important uh, on the cleaning of data. and measuring model performance so whichever model you are using even when you go into uh, different models like uh, uh, models of uh, neural network or those kind of things you have some uh, modeling performance like uh, the sum squared errors and things like that so those are there let's uh, move uh, more into this so most of uh, the topics here runs on uh, uh, the procedural commands and this is simple like uh, Uh, just using those commands it is simple to the other course uh, that we take like matlab where uh, you have those uh, commands to run the regression and everything is in the form of uh, matrix and therefore it is called the matrix laboratory similarly here things are in form of tables and we are looking at uh, running a uh, regression on that so uh, uh, data using the data set and uh, running the logistic uh, and the score procedure and looking at what they would do uh now uh, uh, the problems that uh, we could get in the data is that uh, uh non linearity uh, things like uh, uh using uh, loops and conditional statement to find out uh, uh, data that should not be useful to us and this reminds me of the sas based certification the other part here is uh, uh, remove uh, uh the top 2 percentile data or remove negative values or uh, doing the what we call the winterization uh, when you want to remove the outliers so those are the kind of things that we might uh, need to do for uh, uh, the input of the model then for the model performance uh, uh, we have to look at uh, various uh, classification and uh, we have to uh, separate data into training and validation data so most of the time we run an analysis uh, we build our analysis on the training data and then we use the validation data and then again we need to interpret different uh, type of charts uh, this uh, can be linked to uh, like the charts uh, that we get in the matlab and finally uh, deciding a cut off value of scoring so this is that now a trouble here is that uh, there is a lot less uh, of content to study for this exam that makes this exam challenging but uh, there are uh, some uh, articles there so uh those would be helpful uh, to us so uh the certification is new uh and that would mean that uh, they would uh, keep the passing rate high so a uh, few things here and there would uh, help you so that was about the sas uh, business analyst certification